Hello everyone, it's Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage. Uh, today we are removing a cylinder head from the M54 engine. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to show you how to check and see exactly what the problem is before you even take the cylinder head off. That's going to help you on what parts you need, whether you need a cylinder head, whether you need inserts. Uh, let's go ahead and go to that right now. Okay guys, here we are. Uh, this car we're taking the cylinder head off, so it has the intake off. Everything's almost completely off. But, let me put this guy here around. So what we're going to do, we're going to show you how, by only taking the valve cover off, you can tell what's going on with your car. If it's smoking, if it's overheating, uh, you already replaced the thermostat, you already did the water pump, uh, the fan clutch is good. You already went through all that and it's still smoking, it's still having problems. You already did the CCV valve delete. Uh, you're going to pull the valve cover off. That's the only thing you have to take off at this point to do this test. You're going to come in here with the E12 with the inverted Torx and you're going to check the head bolts. Now these aluminum block motors have a lot of problems with pulling the studs. Uh, pulling the head bolts, I'm sorry, not studs. So we're going to go through and check them. What we're going to look for is anything that's loose. If you have any of the head bolts are loose at all, it's not just loose, it's stripped out. So let's go ahead and see. We're going to start in the very back first. And we're just going to, we're just going to snug it up. Okay, that one's good. And if they're stripped, they'll be really stripped. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. You might have to turn the motor over to get to some of these. I have this one already preset up. That one's good. Oh. Well, that one's probably alright too. Okay. <laughs> that one's not good. You can see how loose it is. This is my left hand. I'm turning it. It's just spinning. So that one's turning a little bit. That one's good. That one's good. We can't reach that one. The cam's turned wrong. That one we could barely reach. Okay. Okay, so we're all good except for the back one. The one back here. This one here turned a little bit. So that's all for today's video. Um, I did some other videos last few weeks or similar to this one. I thought a lot of guys, especially the guys that don't know a lot about the cars, they want to go buy one. Uh, they might want to know how to diagnose this problem quickly, easily, without taking the whole engine apart. Uh, that's the best way you could do it. Within 15 minutes, you know exactly where you stand on the car. That's not going to tell you whether the head's going to be cracked or not. That's a 50-50 shot. Uh, I've been lucky lately. Most of them have not been cracked. They've been pulling the threads out before they've been cracking the heads. But that's not guaranteed. You don't know whoever's driving the car, who did what to it, how long they drove it overheating. Uh, but that's all for today's video, guys. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment below uh, if you have any other questions about it. Uh, also check me out on Facebook, on Instagram, and now on Twitter, Nathan's DIY Garage. Thank you.